All right, this is the first hole of the league for today. I need to finish with one under to tie the leader and two under to beat him. I'm just throwing the arrowhead here, leave it a little inside, leave me with about a 50, 60 foot look. I'm just gonna chip up here and take an easy par. Hole two, 250 foot, hyzer, and I shank it left. I've been turning over the arrowhead a lot recently, not really sure why. Pull it left, end up behind this bush, just have a nice chip out with the harpoon. And I end up about five feet from the basket, drop in par. Hole three, 280 foot, slightly uphill. I get through a sneaky gap there, hit a branch, end up kind of behind a tree, which is fine. I take the armadillo here, and I'm just going to try and land it underneath the basket. I give it a soft run, and I hit the cage, almost go in there, and I just tap in for par here. Still even through three holes, not necessarily a bad thing. I missed the tee shot on four, but I hit a tree and kicked out into the side of the fairway. And I'm debating here whether I want to throw an Anheuser forehand or a hard backhand hyzer underneath the tree line. I decide I'm gonna try to skirt this V tree with the hyzer. And I just pull it left. I hit a tree, end up kind of in three's fairway, but it's not OB. So I end up with about 100 feet, have the armadillo again. I'm going to give it a soft run, and I just pull it too far to the left, and I slide past the basket, drop off the cliff here. Got about a 25-footer for bogey. First tester of the day, and I just sneak it over for a nice bogey. Save. Hole five, throwing the armadillo again. It's really short hole, just gotta get it over the bushes, keep it left. I let it leak out to the right, about a 30 footer, and I just leave it short. So end up with a tap in par to stay at one over. Hole six, 260 foot, just a stock hyzer for me. I pull it left, leaves me with about a 30, 45, 45 foot look here. And I hit the chains and I felt robbed there. So I have a nice just drop in par. I felt like if I hit that putt, I have a good chance of starting a birdie streak. And hole seven, I guess my GoPro overheated and it wasn't recording, but I ended up parring that one. This is hole eight, the tee shot, I leak it out to the right, leave a long putt here, I just try to chip it up, but I end up hitting the tree, leave me a 20 footer for par, kind of straddled out, and I just felt really good on putting today. Another par, hole nine. Um, this is one of the CTP holes for the day. The other was seven, wasn't even close there. I leave it to seven feet and I drop in the birdie. Hole 10, again, miss the tee shot. Have a bad approach, leave myself with a 25 foot birdie look and I just, par look, sorry, and I just took a right side chains and miss. So I end up with a bogey, which puts me back at one over. Hole 11, very easy shot for me, downhill, hyzer. Skip it underneath the tree and past the trunk. It leaves me with a 15 foot look for birdie. Easy tap in. Back to even. Hole 12, uphill. Not the best drive. I just pull it left I, and it kicks out. And then the approach shot, not good at either. I hit the tree and it sneaks out to the left. I end up making a really long putt to save par though. Missed that shot. But here's my tee shot for 13, up and over the tree. I end up about 45 to 50 to the right of the pin, but pin high. I've been feeling these long circle two putts today, but that one I just leave a little high and have a stress-free tap in par. Still at even, hole 14, 
very straight shot. Because I've been pulling the arrowhead and turning it over, I felt that was a perfect shot to just throw it and leave it out right. And it was, it skips up to about 20, 25 feet-ish. And I have a nice little birdie putt there to get me at one under. Hole 15, really, really long hyzer, 315 feet. I leave myself with about 50 feet again on the putt and just leave it high, Has it, and it hyzers out a little early. So I drop in par. Hole 16, I'm trying to turn over a long shot here and I just leave it a little wide. I nick the side of that tree right in the middle of the fairway and it just doesn't ever keep turning. A long look for birdie there, no good, but a nice tap in par. Hole 17, 340 feet, throwing the starship, have a very, very good line out of the hand. It starts to fade out, and then it just, I thought it was going to skip, but it hits the ground and digs, leaves me with about a 30-foot look for birdie, and I just pull it left and a little low drop in par. Hole 18. If I birdie this hole, I win. If I par, I go into a playoff with the leader and I leave the shot low, which is unfortunate because I really wanted to win outright. Here's my approach. I try to give it a soft run, which but a little to the right. Leaves me with a 20-foot look for par to stay at one under. And I can it. Well guys, I am at home and this is after league is already finished and completed and we've already gotten our prizes for the places and it had taken the par as you saw and we went into a sudden death playoff where me and the other player both birdied hole one and then I birdied and he parred hole two. So I ended up winning the sudden death and getting first place in the league for the summer. So that was a real accomplishment. I finally won something MA3 in some form of competition. Yes, it's non-sanctioned, but still competition. Uh, go watch my previous video and catch you guys later. Peace.